Scene one D, take one. Action. Whoa, dude. Just, dude, shut okay. up, man. Go help okay. me out. Grab those guns over okay. there. There you are. Yep. Yep. I'm okay? Yep. Okay, thank you. Bro, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Can you rap, Dan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I can do, I can oh, do yeah, Bo Burnham by heart, like, but that's no. about it. Horses, yeah, crew like fan. <laughs> horses. <laughs> Gotta love the crew, man. Well, if they do, I'm gonna break in and steal We're on our way to a location. Yeah. I am driving uh -huh. a big Molly's Industry yeah. cargo van yeah. uh, with the uh, yeah. crew. Yeah. Sometimes Damien is in the gold caravan driving the talent. I did not give you permission to record my face. Better be blurred the hell out! What the fuck? It's gonna be a fun day. Uh, we got great, great, great pool of talent. Great pool of talent on this team. I'm excited. I'm really excited this year. And there's a goose and they ain't nothing but the I'm chair guy. This is what I do. I set up chairs. That's what I'm good at. Look how nice those chairs are set up. <laughs> Take pride in my work. Sweet chairs. Well, I assembled my team because I had already known the actors through classes and through just mutual friendships. Uh, Alex Reinhardt, uh, we went to school together, uh, and she's a great actress. She studied uh, acting at the University of Iowa. I met Khalil, I met Drake at, in my acting class. Uh, Damon, my brother, he's his own really great character. He's also a good actor. And um, I met <clears throat> Dominic uh, through the Hotel Fort Des Moines, and he's not an actor per se, which is kind of a... This, 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 it's an understatement now yeah, because he really he's kind of an awesome actor. He's a great actor, and uh, Ben. Yeah. Oh, how can I forget Ben? He was also in my acting class, and he he thinks of himself as maybe the the weakest of the of the actors here. But I have I now I say this as a positive thing. I hardly have to give him direction, and that's good. No fucking signal around here. Man, you got yours? I got yours. My name's Tori Nelson. I did makeup. A little bit of special effects, I guess. I made the brain that got uh, splattered onto Drake and Ben. I made it out of gelatin. And food coloring and blood, like fake blood. A drop of makeup. Real blood. I'm used to having shit on my face, man. I had no expectations except for lack of sleep. Uh, the ac actually, I did have expectations of having great performances. 
out of my actors uh, because I chose them all and I was going to direct them all. I'm ready to shoot. But we got makeup going on. I just wanted to make everything look good and follow Gabe's instruction to make it look the way he wanted it to look. So it was really easy because I got great direction. Um, I got to be in a lot of really awkward positions. Yeah. And I'm very sore today. But um, other than that, I, I thought it was great. It was a good experience because I don't normally do a lot of camera movement and uh, you know different focusing or anything like that. And we did a lot of that mm -hmm. on this. So it really kind of expanded my horizons and made me feel better about being able to shoot stuff. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's why I put you on the team as a director of photography because being in video production and class together and just knowing that you're also I mean I, I knew you were a photographer, um, but because we were taking that video production class, it was an opportunity to learn more. Yeah, I mean it worked out great. Yeah. So. Scene two A, take one. Action. As, as you know, for the 40-hour film project, you're not supposed to have a story uh, before you enter the competition. Shot. However, I, ideas just started flowing through my head, um, and I knew that I wanted a, um, no matter what genre, no matter what kind of elements that were required of us, I still wanted to put my brother into a position of leadership, um, but also in a position, in a role where he isn't a minor character. Um, so the story that I had in my mind was that he's not a minor character, he plays a major role, and just to get, just to make sure that I get great performances out of the actors. Fuck you, Damien. I could kill you. Get in. Get in. All right, all right, get in. All right. Fuck you, Damien. I could kill you right now and I wouldn't lose a fucking moment of sleep about it. Let's see what kind of a man you are. Oh my god, homeless people. <laughs> we had homeless people walk through the set <laughs> and uh, ask for food from us. What did we have? We had just, it was also not a problem per se, but it's just one of those things that sets a, that may set you back. It's just like new, like fresh, fresh team players. Right. I mean, Robert is a fresh player, a fresh member. Uh, he's never done this before. Um, I mean, I don't want to say this. How do I say this without being a dick? But it's just like, of course you would like make things slower. Like you start, right? You take time to figure things out because it's the first time. Yeah, but next time, we'll yeah. rock it. So it, it'll be good. Um, Drop and, fire. Yeah, and then also uh, the weather was a huge factor. Um, as you can see from my hair, um, it's very humid and crazy and hot. Um, I have never felt more slimy or disgusting in my life. Um, uh, yeah, I've like I I love shooting outdoors. And I've never shot in you know, like those conditions. It, it was like jungle hot. It was, it was nasty. Disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Let's see. So, because of scheduling conflicts with one of our actors, we had to stop um, principal photography a little sooner than we thought. Um, Khalil is going to his other paid um, play rehearsal, so he has to do that first. Um, so for the time being, we are on break slash lunch. Slash, you know, cooling off, and we are going to as soon as everybody is you know, feels more refreshed, we're going to go into re rehearsals and blocking for the next several scenes. That way, when Khalil comes back, there'll be pros at it. Trotting around, Andrew. Number five again. Number five. Five is a veto. Number four. The turkey tongue, that's paw tongue. There's paw tongue. He's not eating. Number six is a veggie. Number six, veggie. Number two, Big John, add cheese. That's me. BLT. Another BLT? Just one BLT. Can you do a handstand push up? I'm way too fat. I can't even do a regular push up. Fuck off, Jeremy. <laughs> well, my character, Drake, balls.
Balls. Balls out. He, uh, he's a bit conflicted with his own emotions. He's got his own secrets that he holds that not even his brother knows about. So he's a very mysterious kind of guy, unlike myself. But his main priority is keeping his brother safe. Although he likes the group and he respects Damien as a leader, he doesn't quite trust most of them, and uh, which feeds into his uh, his own past of uh, the passing away of his parents. So he's a pretty conflicted guy. And good background to him. Why is he gonna smoke so much? Stress. And because it looks cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Nice, Get the nice fuck breeze. out of my face. Nice Tell us about your character, Ben. Well, he's pretty much me. Just a big old fucking dickhead. That's, that's, that's about it. Just a gigantic dick. Just like me. It's true. I'm Damien. I played Damien in this movie, who is the leader of his own POC pack. Sorry, my bad. Um, basically, I'm just trying to lead them to a safe place, but kind of ends up bringing them to a place that's all up in flames. But basically, this one person really freaks out, and I try to control him, and it, I kind of end up killing him. And just it, once that happens, it's just a downhill ride from there. Everything goes crazy. But yeah, that's me. Yeah, and my name's Alex, and I played Alex in the film. And I was kind of like the badass chick who just like wouldn't take anyone's shit. And I kind of, for, I kind of, someone, someone in our team said that I would say what Damien's character couldn't. I just, almost like I had no filter, but I was like also like, I kept a lot of stuff in. Um, so I tried to suppress all of the emotions and kind of not give a shit about anyone really except for Damien since I was close with him. We were, our, our characters had like had, you know, relationship and we like built that into the subtext and script and stuff, so. Oh, it was cool playing. I love playing the tough girl. So, it was fun. A lot of fun. I'm really excited to finally be part of an actual film that is not done for a client or for somebody I don't want to do it for work or whatever. And that's always what I get stuck doing and I can make it look okay, but I hate it. It's boring. This was really exciting because I got to be part of the creative process and it was just, it was fun. All the actors, everybody on the set was so cool. Um, you know, I mean, I feel like they're kind of my weird little Motley family now. Yeah. So, you know, I, I loved all, everyone. It was just great. So I deviated from the question somehow. But anyway, it was, it was just an awesome experience. Scene 14A, take one. Just a few facts that drives me to making movies. It's one, making movies. I just love creating movies. It's one of my favorite things to do and it's what makes me happy. I, I'm driven by the people. And I guess the third thing that drives me to make, um, to create movies and to do this is just it's happiness. Good. Good, thank you very much. I loved all of that. Uh, guys. Who we got? I think that was all the shots that we needed for production day. That was Martini shot. We are done. We're done. Yeah. Good job. That's a wrap. Yep. That's a wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I was a little disappointed. We're gonna kill you. Long fucking day. Can we read that, bro? Yo, I don't like how any of that. It's a wrap, Gabe. Okay, Gabe, cool. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Don't fucking lie.